It's almost that time again when the torch is lit and all of humanity rejoices in the glory of... Wait, what's this? Welcome to hell? The Independent reports emergency responders have a message for travelers arriving to the city just ahead of the $10 billion 2016 Rio Olympics. The sign reads, Police and firefighters do not get paid. Whoever comes to Rio de Janeiro will not be safe. Another sign outside of the airport reads, Welcome! We don't have hospitals. We just impeached our socialist president and our third world economy is tanking. And as soon as the Olympians from all over the globe started rolling in, the locals quickly moved in on them. The Guardian reports, The leader of Australia's Olympic team has called on Brazilian authorities to deploy extra security ahead of the Rio de Janeiro Games after a Paralympic champion was robbed at gunpoint while training in the host city. This is not the first alarming incident. Last month, three Spanish Olympic sailors were robbed at gunpoint. Also, a patient was killed and a nurse injured by stray bullets during a gunfight at Sao's Aguiar Hospital which is recommended for tourists during the games. Whose idea was this anyway? Well, Rio applied to the International Olympic Committee, or IOC, on September 7, 2007. By 2008, Rio had been put on a short list with Chicago, Madrid, and Tokyo. In 2009, the IOC assessed Rio's venues and gave the city a favorable report. On October 2nd, 2009, Rio was chosen as the first South American city to ever host the Olympic Games. But the money is already running out, and the Games begin on August 5th. The acting governor of Rio, Francisco Dornelles, says Rio is still waiting on a $860 million payout from the federal government to pay the police overtime that hasn't been paid in six weeks and finish the metro line to transport tourists to all of the Olympic venues. The Rio de Janeiro state government declared a state of emergency and warned of a total breakdown in public security, health, education, mobility, and environmental management. According to the Daily Mail, many of the venues remain unfinished, and now Olympic athletes are pulling out of Rio over the Zika virus scare and for unknown reasons. It's the Zika virus. What assurances can you give them that it's not going to be a problem? Well, the, the World Health Organization issued a study stating very clearly that Zika virus is not a threat during the winter months. So the mosquitoes, they die during the winter. It's, it's a proved thing. The only lab capable of handling the Olympic drug testing has been suspended by the World Anti-Doping Agency due to non-conformity. The stench of raw sewage hangs in the air over the location of the venues. Human body parts washed up on the beach where the Olympic beach volleyball games will be held. And if that wasn't bad enough, some idiota attempted to throw a bucket of water on the Olympic torch. But never mind all that. The globalist filth behind this complete disaster want to shine a spotlight on the refugee crisis, i.e. invasion. That's why this year's Olympics will feature a refugee Olympic team. Ten refugees will represent the people fleeing all of the countries the World Bank has destroyed while over a million Brazilians have already fled their chaotic country to hightail it up to Obama's America. Well, it's shaping up to be as dismal a globalist fail fest as one can expect in the plastic socio-economic climate we are all facing. Perhaps we can expect some brand new events. How about random gun confiscation, hog-tying political dissidents, or maybe mass vaccination time trials? Rio 2016. Welcome to hell. John Bound for Infowars.com.